Hello, today I just wanted to share with you this really universal bronze smoky eye. I didn't want it to be too dark and oppressive, so it's something that a lot of different skin tones and hair colours is going to suit. I've tried to just use one palette so it's a little bit more accessible for people. Please let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover and I hope you enjoy. For my skin I've already used Ember Elise Moisturiser and a bit of Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer and now this foundation is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. The first colour I've mixed is number three of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and then this is a massive jump for me but it's what I've got in my kit because I don't want to carry too many glass bottles around and it's 8.5 so I only, only need a tiny little bit of that one and then just mix it together on your hands and you can just add, add it bit by bit so you don't go too dark I've just quickly used a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer especially just right in the inside of the eye and then I'm using Sublime Nature Paint from MAC as the, as the primer for the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Naked One palette, just because I know a lot of you have it. Um, so I thought, it saves everyone feeling like they have to go out and buy something new all the time. Starting off with the lightest colour try a little bit of that virgin it's quite pigmented that one and quite light so I don't want too much turn it down a little bit coffee pencils quite firm so it can be a little bit more uncomfortable to use but I just really love the the tone of it so it does make a nice base to an eyeshadow or eyeliner So with the pencil just scribble along the lash line and then wing out. I'm going to mix sidecar and half baked. And that's the nice thing about this palette is just that you've got all the colours together. I don't actually use them on my clients that much, I still prefer the texture of some of my other eyeshadows but the colour combination is lovely. I'm going to press a little bit of dark horse over the top of the liner just along here and blend it out with a bit of the duck which is a bit matter. As the mid-tone I'm going to use Naked from the palette which is a great shade just to diffuse all the edges it's matte and it's not too dark. I'm using an angled brush and a little bit of the Creep Black from the palette. I'm going to use that just along my lash line.
Now you could definitely leave it like that, but I want to put a little bit of a gel liner just very softly along that lash line. This is the Maybelline gel liner. Just to get a little bit more emphasis. I don't want this to be a definite sort of liquid line look so I'm using the angle brush to apply it but then I'm going to blend it out with a firmer small brush, this is just the MAC pencil brush. Also just using a little bit of that liner in the top lash line, oh I hate doing that bit a little. Using a tiny bit more of the Studio Finish Concealer. And then with a, a clean finger, just going to put a little bit along my lash line. This is just the, the Studio Finish Concealer as well, just to take down the redness because I don't want a black in my waterline. I'm going to set the foundation with good old MAC Mineralize. Skin finish, natural. I'm going to use a tiny bit of coffee pencil, just the bottom lash line, and blend it out. Then set it again with that naked eyeshadow from the palette. using a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light medium. And then just a little bit of NARS Laguna bronzer to blend out all the contour and give me a bit more of a glow. For my brows I've just combed them into place, brush them up and then use a little bit of Omega eyeshadow. Now for a bit more definition just going back with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the colour taupe. I've already trimmed these lashes, I've had to take about four little chunks off and then put a fine line of the duo lash adhesive and then line it from the outer corner of your eye I find it a bit easier with tweezers, just be careful near your eye with tweezers For the blush I'm going to use one of the good old classics Orgasm from NARS this one's quite glittery, so not to everyone's taste. But I do think the undertone colour of the blush is really pretty. This is NARS Satin Lip Pencil in... What's the name? Discanso? I don't know if I said that really wrong. I'll put it in the description. These are nice and quick and easy to use. If you're interested in the hair, I've just used Babyliss Heated Hair Rollers. I'm just going to take them out and then brush it all out. Now using a hairbrush, brush it all out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you picked up a few little tips and techniques. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover and I will include a list of products. Thanks again. Bye!